My name is Carlo Kuig and my film is called Viva Mary. Part of the story is telling the, um, the experience of uh, women going to England post-World War II and what it was like for them, the resistance they faced, how difficult it was to, to blend into society there and make their way. Mary is a real warrior, so she'll never tell you that she's tired or overheating or uh, needs a rest. She'll keep going. Her family story is very interesting. She grew up in Connemara from a, um, a very cultured, artistic background uh, and then uh, eventually emigrated in the 1950s to, um, to London. Now, unfortunately, the project started in 2019 and was held up during all of COVID, um, during which Mary was locked down in England. We couldn't visit her, we couldn't film, we used to have conversations over, over WhatsApp. She may be 90, but she's still writing messages in Irish over WhatsApp and sharing funny videos. Once COVID was over and she had a chance to come home and she hadn't been home to Connemara in two years, she was delighted to come home, so she was even more exuberant than usual. So that fed into the, into the final product. Certainly the main fountain of uh, information for the story was Mary herself. She had 90 years of, of uh, personal history to share with me and she is a great storyteller, a great Shanachi in her own right. What amazed me about Mary is that even though she's a 90 year old widow, um, she's still looking for love. She still has a glint in her eye and, uh, and isn't afraid to chat up any handsome gentleman that comes her way. So we were looking forward to having Mary at the screening. Uh, she hasn't seen the film yet, so she's very excited. Mary's delighted to see it because she wrote to me only a few months ago saying, oh, I hear it won't be on RT till the autumn. Am I going to see this before I die? Hurry up.